Hi, good morning. Well, good afternoon, bon nuit, wherever you are. <laughs> this is Tara Marino with Elegant Femme, and I'm joining you, you can see, from the rooftops a bit in Paris, and I have a really, stop what you're doing. Honestly, stop what you're doing, because I have a really dirty word that I'm going to say. <clears throat> and at least, for me, it used to be a really dirty word, a word that I would cringe inside, I really would. And I would feel like, oh my gosh, if I'm really going to have what I want in my life, and if I'm really going to allow myself to live my desires, I'm going to have to get comfortable with this word. But I just didn't like it at all. So stop what you're doing. Seriously, I know the dishes, the kids, the... Hear this. I know what the word is? Planning. Seriously, I've got to tell you, for my majority of my life, every time I thought I needed to plan something, I went into overwhelm. I went into a little bit of paralyzation and procrastination, absolutely, absolutely. I really thought that planning was for people who were not creative. <laughs> I have a lot of belief in my abilities to create and go with the flow, and every time I thought I needed to plan something, I got really contracted inside. You know, I felt like, oh, I don't want to plan anything, I just want it to be perfect, I just want it to work out, and you might be like me, you might know that you have that ability that when you are in the flow, you really can let things evolve easily and gracefully and beautifully. And we love that here at Elegant Femme, right? That's a big piece of what we stand for. However, there's a component to planning that I've allowed myself to step into that has shifted my entire life and my business. So I have a really big announcement, so hang in there with me. I've got a huge announcement for you. And I want to talk a little bit more about this dirty word because the majority of my clients have resistance to this word as well. And they have um, an interesting time trying to figure out the balance between strategic planning and allowing themselves to get so stuck in the plan that they feel overwhelmed and feel behind. Okay? That's the way we've been typically taught to plan. It's a very masculine way of planning. Well, here at Elegant Femme, we've stepped into sensual planning, which is a completely different way of planning your life and your business that involves all of who we are, all of the femme types. So let's say where we are right now, okay? not just in Paris, not location-wise, I'm talking about this time of year, what's going on for so many of us. If you have kids, you're feeling it. Summer's coming, the kids are out of school, and there's a little bit of a, <gasps> and then a, <gasps> right? Because, okay, we're feeling into what we knew it was like as kids, and we want to enjoy the summer with our families, and maybe we have that vacation planned, and then it's, oh my gosh, the planning. What are we going to do with the kids? How are we going to fit it all in? And this is what starts to happen with our femme types. At first, our Frenchie gets excited. Oh, barbecues, painted toenails, right? Oh, short shorts, maybe not. We'll talk about fashion another time. <laughs> but your Frenchie starts to feel into the experience. And then all of a sudden, your New Yorker goes, <clears throat> what about this? And what about the business? And what about the kids for camp? How are you going to get them registered for camp? How are you going to get them to camp, by the way? How are they going to even get there? Right? And then you start to feel a disconnect with your Indie who says, Am I going to have time for me? Is it selfish to allow my own dreams and own desires to continue throughout the summer? How am I going to prosper? All right, so this is what's going on. And if you didn't, weren't aware of it going on, now you know, okay? <laughs> now you're consciously aware that this is what's starting to happen. So this requires something very important. This requires an opportunity for us to come together and plan in a sensual way, not the way we've been taught, sensual planning, okay? So that we come together and we get really clear. Now, this is something different. This time of the year, right, we're at the end of June, most people aren't thinking about planning consciously. Most people are thinking, all oh, right, we're in the middle of this and this chaos breaks out and you really step into a place of overwhelm. We say planning for January. Uh, 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 not so here at Elegant Femme. You want to embody and embrace your femme types. This is a perfect time. We're mid-year for you to revisit your vision, for you to revisit your femme types and something very special and unique that we do, which is create themes for the year that'll assist you in planning from a sensual space so that you have every aspect of you honored during this time of year. Your Frenchie, your Indie, and your New Yorker. So, in the beginning of January, maybe you were with us, maybe you weren't, but in the beginning of January, I decided I needed this for me. I wanted to do a sensual planning day and really allow myself to plan my whole calendar, my whole year in a way that felt good for me. So we came together for three hours and we did it. And I've got to tell you, the comments and the results that women received from this time was amazing, amazing, amazing. 
Facebook was going crazy. We were getting comments. The team was getting comments. And women were saying, Tara, I've never planned like this before. I didn't even know this existed. Women who are creative, women who don't want to be boxed in, women who are having resistance to planning and were really feeling overwhelmed started to feel like, oh my gosh, I can do this. Not only that, they felt more accomplished, they felt more in line with their truth and their desires, and they immediately started allowing themselves to experience things that mattered to them. Because here's what happens with planning a lot of time. <clears throat> we plan what we think we're supposed to plan. We plan according to other people's expectations and what we think we're supposed to be doing. And we get caught up in the shoulds, okay? When we look at sensual planning, we take it from a completely different angle. We start from the desires process. What is it you're really desiring to create in your life? Now, a piece of us says, oh my gosh, if I really start with my desires, am I gonna miss out on the things I'm supposed to be doing? And that's a mistake. Because what happens when we start with our desires and we create our year and our plan according to that, that's when things start to get brought to us in a sensual way and we find ourselves experiencing more than we thought possible. We find ourselves creating more prosperity than we thought was possible because we've approached it this way. Just personally, the prosperity that we've created since Central Planning Day has out, 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 outed anything that I thought was possible. Why? Because I planned, because I instituted that dirty little word in my life in a new way, sensual planning. So, uh, okay. We're gonna do another one. We're gonna do another sensual planning day. I had so much fun during this experience. And this is really a training. It really is, it's a three hour training where you're gonna block off your calendar. And I know, right, the faux types start to come up, that little voice inside that says, oh gosh, I don't know if I have three hours. What about the kids? Listen, this is so worth it because if you don't do this, you're gonna spend more than three hours, probably 300 hours, stressed out, trying to figure out what to do with the kids, trying to figure out what to do with yourself, trying to figure out, you know, if your husband fits into the picture at all this summer. So listen, three hours, it's ideal and it's so much fun. We're going to be live together, live stream. I'll be coming to you from a very special location. I'll be sharing with you some more about that in the, in the next video. So what we're going to do together is we're going to come together. We're going to allow ourselves to breathe through and into the resistance of planning and start to plan the rest of our year in an extremely sensual way. You are going to have templates. I am going to be with you. We walk through this together. You leave the central planning day with your plan. It is awesome. It is awesome, awesome. So I'm inviting you to join us. You're the, this is the first reveal. So I want you to hurry up and sign up. Oh, there's a couple things I need to tell you, okay? This will not be recorded. It's very, very important that you know that. Okay, you have to be live with us. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of maybe pushback from that. It's really important that you put this and yourself a priority so that we can do this together. It's a very special experience. Very, very special experience. I know we have the best of intentions that we'll go back and revisit something later. No, 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 you don't need anything extra on your plate, right? What we're looking for together in unity as women is an opportunity for us to commit to the truth of why we're here to allow ourselves to step into and embody our desires and enjoy the rest of the year in a way that is conducive to who we really are. So that's what I'm inviting you to take place. There's a link somewhere below where you can sign up for the Central Planning Day. You absolutely must register. We have a limited number of lines because again, it's a live feed. So I want you to get in, I want you to save your place and I want you to look forward because I'm gonna be revealing more in the next couple of episodes about planning. And here's what I want you to consider right now. Wherever you are, whatever level of success you've reached in your business, I want you to consider how, how you still have resisted planning because all of us resist it to a certain extent. I'm inviting you to form a brand new relationship with planning. I'm inviting you to come into a sensual place with planning for Sensual Planning Day. So I want you to leave a comment below about what is your current resistance to planning? What inside, what have you thought about planning in the past past that has held you back? Like I told you, for me it was a really dirty word. I thought it was for people who weren't creative. I thought it was for people who didn't trust. They had to plan. I, I saw them as rigid and kind of anal, <laughs> overly planning. I didn't enjoy it at all. Now, stepping into a place of enjoying and fulfillment. So I want you to leave a comment below. There's two things I want you to do. Leave a comment below and talk about your resistance to planning up until this point. How have you viewed planning? Okay, how, is that, how have you held yourself back by not planning? Okay, or what is it meant to you? And I want you to register for Central Planning Day. 
right? I have so much more to share with you in the upcoming episodes about planning itself and what we're going to be experiencing together right now. Allow yourself to sign up for Central Planning Day. I can't wait. It's going to be fabulous. And maybe we can give you just a little peek down the six arrondissements. And uh, you can hear, uh, this is going to be our, pretty soon, this is not right where we're going to be living, but it's kind of close. <laughs> Bonjour Paris.